Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. The S8 Plus is carrying a lot of weight on its shoulders after the Note 7 battery disaster, with a boost to its processor, a Super AMOLED dual-edge display, and a 12-megapixel camera. The S8 Plus is sure to impress. But will the new design of Samsung's flagship phone be enough to win back its customers? There's only one way to find out. Let's tear it down. As always, getting in is no joke when it comes to Galaxy phones, and the S8 Plus is no exception. Tons of heat and prying is the only solution to get the rear panel up, but not exactly off since the fingerprint reader lives on the rear panel and is still attached to the motherboard by a small cable. We would have liked to start by disconnecting the battery, but its connector lies trapped beneath the midframe. This midframe is held in place by a ton of Phillips screws and it comes out in pieces, just like it did in the S7 and S7 Edge. This time, the upper antenna assembly is combined with the NFC wireless charging panel. Next out was the action-packed motherboard with all three cameras still attached. The 8 megapixel selfie cam and an iris scanning camera like the one we previously saw in the Note 7 came out with just a twist of our spudger. And lastly, we removed the rear-facing camera. The Hero Sony of old has been traded in for the Dream 1 Sony for the rear-facing main camera. Labeling variations aside though, this appears to be the same camera hardware as in the S7 S7 Edge. Samsung has refined the software, nothing else. With the cameras off, we took a look at the chips on the motherboard. Some chips of note are the 4 gigabytes of Samsung-made LP DDR4 RAM layered over the Snapdragon 835 and the Toshiba 64 gigabytes UFS NAND Flash Plus controller. If you want to check out the complete list of chips we've identified, head on over to our teardown at ifixit.com. The modular headphone jack is a cinch to remove, which is good news for repairability, and the I.O. daughter board is held in place by just a few screws and some light adhesive. There's a lot of ingress proofing and evidence here, including the speaker grille surround and the tiny seals on the USB Type-C connector and headphone jack. Finally, we decide to tackle that heavily glued in battery, and it's still a bear to pry off that adhesive. Even with the battery fully removed, the glue won't let go. The S8 Plus features a 13.48 watt hour, 3,500 milliamp hour at 3.85 volt battery, the exact same capacity as the Note 7, and a little less than the S7 Edge's 13.86 watt hour. So, what did the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus score on our repairability meter? It got a 4 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, many components are modular and can be replaced independently. The battery can be replaced, but tough adhesive and a glued-on rear panel make it unnecessarily difficult. But on the downside, front and back glass make for double the crackability, and strong adhesive on both makes it tough to access the internals for any repair. And finally, because of the curved screen, replacing the front glass without destroying the display is probably impossible. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.